taught you double-minded. Tell your neighbor, stop being double-minded. Stop being double-minded. Why did you tell us that? Because listen to this. In the Gospel of James, I believe it's in chapter 1. He says in verse number 8, James chapter 1, verse 8, he said, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Praise God. A double-minded man is between two opinions. Huh? They trying to live a double life. They trying to have one foot in the church well, and another foot in the world. All right. Uh -huh. They can pretend when they come in the house of God, but out of the house of God when ain't nobody around, they going crazy like a wild dog that just got off a leash. Uh -huh. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You better hear what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. A double-minded man is unstable. In other words, you cannot trust anybody that's double-minded. All right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. How many of you will sit on a chair with three legs? Mm -hmm. oh, None of you. Why? Because it's unstable. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. Anybody that's unstable, you can never trust them. Why? Because they're double-minded. Right. Come on, somebody. Amen. We need to get to the place in our life where we are singleness of Amen. mind. Amen. Our mind is made up. Amen. For God I live and for Amen. God. That was about 25%. Hello, somebody. That was about 25% right there. Glory to God. See, the word will always expose people. It will always expose people every time. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Blessed be the name of the Lord. The devil got people's mind right in the church. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this is why, my brothers and sisters, you got to start really taking inventory of your life. Yes. Even your children, praise God. You got to start watching them like a hawk like never before. All right. Come on, somebody. Yes. While you're listening to me. Yes. I don't know about you, but I just ain't let, I ain't just about to let my soul or even my children go to hell that oh, easy. Y'all yes. right. don't like Pastor yes. Thank you, Jesus. He said in the word, you double-minded. Has anybody got their mind made up? Hello. That was about 30%. Praise God. We went up 5% from the last time. Praise God. Are you hearing me? Thank you, Jesus. He goes on to tell us here. See, I'm one of those preachers, I ain't just about to shout you down. All right. Uh -huh. I'm going to give you some information. Yes. Huh? Yeah. Amen. It's like, going to the, it's like going to the hospital. Praise God. I ain't going to just tell you about your symptom, but I'm going to pour some oil and wine in your wound. All right. Huh? Yes. And see, some people, praise God, when you're trying to administer healing to them, they won't, they won't let you. Amen. Praise God. That's why they keep pushing you away. Come on. You ever get a sore? Praise God. Amen. Your mama try to treat you. You kind of push away because you don't want it to hurt. Well, guess what? No pain, no gain. All right. you allow us to pour some oil and wine in your womb. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Praise God. You ain't going to never get no better. Are you listening to me? Yeah. The Bible says in verse 9, he said, be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. Praise God. Amen. See, some of us, we just like the semantics of religion. But we don't want to deal with the truth 
that is within our own hearts. Come on, somebody. The Bible still says what it says. He said, repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Are you listening to me? Now God says, make a move. Draw nigh to God. He'll draw nigh to you. You take one step. Seven steps. Praise God. Come on, somebody. Is there anybody that wants to be saved in this last day? If you don't get saved, you gotta make a move. You can't just raise your hand. You can't just clap. Praise God. Then when it's time for you to step out and walk by faith to that altar, praise God. Nobody moves. Because the truth is, a lot of people don't really want to be saved. They like to mix in as if they say, and they'll just mix in and say they want to be saved. That way they won't, they, they'll think nobody won't bother them beyond them saying it. Amen. Now I come to tell you in the name of Jesus Christ. If you're going to be saved, you got to draw nine to him. Right. He said, I'll draw nigh to you. Right. Hello, somebody. You don't have time to be wasted. Amen. It doesn't make a difference how old or young you no, are. Wow. If John the Baptist can get the Holy Ghost while he was in his mother's womb. Hallelujah. And also, when he got it, the Bible said he began to leap. Yes. Her baby began to jump. Yes. Does anybody got a praise in here? save yourself for sin. Because yeah, I got man. plans up the road and you may not even be alive to fulfill them plans. Yeah. Of living after the flesh and running wild and doing whatever I want. That's right. Yeah. Hello. Oh, see, y'all don't like when a preacher yeah. preach like that. But we trying to save your soul. Yeah. We trying to snatch you as a burn from the burn. Yeah. Are you understanding, praise God? trying to help you. Jesus, come on, the Bible said in the book of Acts, Jesus came to bless us. Yes. God sent Jesus to bless you. Right. He came to enhance your life. Yes. Jesus didn't come to destroy you. No. He came to save you. Right. Satan come to steal, kill, and destroy. That's, right. Right. That's, right. Right. That's the one we want to follow. That's, right. That's the section. Yeah. That's why people won't make a move. That's right. The devil has shown them all the glory of this world. Mm -hmm. And that's why they're saving themselves for it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to give my life to God because if so, I won't get I won't I won't be able to get that. Yeah. And we yeah. think nobody knows. Right. You're dead wrong. Yeah. All right. We do know. Yeah. Amen. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Hello. Amen. Y'all don't 
going to go with me. Praise God. Who's saving themselves for this world? See, watch that. Ain't nobody going to be honest with you. See, nobody going to be honest. But when you refuse to come to this altar That's right. Amen. and repent, and when you repent, we're going to know it too. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Because all I got to do is ask your parents. Yeah. All right. All I got to do is ask your teachers at school. Yeah. All I got to do is ask your little hood friends <laughs> what you're doing, and they'll spill the beans on you and yeah. expose you as a liar. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Am I making sense up in here? Yeah. be glad somebody trying to help you. Yes, All right. Amen. I ain't trying to hurt you. I'm trying to help you. Amen. Huh? Amen. And I'll preach, I'll preach to everybody. Amen. I don't care who you are. All right. Amen. Bible says, go into all the world and preach the gospel to who? Every creature. I'm talking to all of you. Amen. Every creature. Yes, sir. You understand? Amen. We love you. And Jesus loved you best. Yes. He come to save you from your sin. Yes. You understand? Yes. You don't have to stay the same way you are. Yes. You can change. Tell your neighbor, you can change. Yes. God changes life. Tell your neighbor, you can change. We can change. Notice that when we tell people to do this, you always got them folks that don't do nothing. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Huh? Amen. You can change. Yes, Lord. God can change your life. Yes. But tell your neighbor, you're going to have to make a move. We ain't talking about basketball. We ain't talking about some video game either. Praise God. We ain't talking about you coming to Jesus. We ain't talking about you repenting and turning from your sin so God can give you the baptism of the Holy Spirit. To resist the forces of darkness, praise God. Praise God. Are you listening to me? Amen. Oh, glory to His name. Glory. Blessed be the Lamb of God. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all like that tonight? Glory. I just believe in being a pastor, my people. Amen. And as a spiritual father in the gospel, I, I got I got to correct you. Yes. I got to chastise you. Yes. I got to reprove you. Yes. All that go with it. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. All that go with it. Yes. Because we love you. Yes. And I don't want to see you go to hell yes. just for a moment of feel-good pleasure yes. that's going to send you to a devil's hell yes. for all eternity. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. How many love God in this house? Stand to your feet, praise God. You want to come to this altar for prayer? You can come, praise God. Amen, amen, amen. You want to come to this altar for prayer? You can come, praise God. Amen. You can come, praise God. You can come, praise God. Make a move. You better make a move. We hand clap. Amen. We say amen. We do all those things, but we don't do anything. Hallelujah. You got to step out on faith and make a move to God before your candle can put out. Hallelujah. Come on, I want you to lift your hands. Hallelujah. You got sin in your life. I want you to begin to repent right now. Right now. You may not have sin in your life. You just won't pray. You just want the touch of God in your life. Lift your hands, praise God. God can meet you. He can touch you right where you are. But you got to repent of your sins. You got sin in your life. You need to begin to repent. You need to begin to repent. Nobody like, no like you and God know what's going on.
Dios.
God use me and have mercy upon me. Never be no word about what people say, God. Yeah. 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 Yeah.